Welcome back to another Verona repair video series. Before you begin, this repair should be performed by an authorized repair professional. Personal injury can occur from improper installation of this hinge kit. For this installation, the only tool you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver. Check the contents of your hinge kit. You should have two door hinges, two hinge receivers, and two door stoppers. This is what your kit should look like. With the door open, flip up the latch that locks the door hinge mechanism. Repeat for the other side. Then take the door, flip it up three quarters of the way, lift up and pull out the door. With the door removed, place it on a scratch free surface, particularly with a towel or a moving blanket underneath, and remove the five screws at the top of the door. Next, you'll want to remove the four screws at the bottom of the door. With the screws removed, lift up the inner door panel and place it to the side. You'll want to get this piece out of the way so you can work on the inner door panel. There are two screws holding each hinge in place. You'll want to remove those screws.
at the bottom of the panel there are two screws holding each hinge in place. You want to remove those for both sides. With the screws removed, remove the old hinges and place the new hinges lining up the holes and replacing the screws. Then replace the screws on each side holding the top portion of the hinge. And place the inner door panel to join together with the uh, other panel. Make sure that all your screw holes line up properly. Now you'll want to replace the five screws at the top and tighten them down. You're also going to do the same thing for the screws on the bottom of the door. Replace the four screws and tighten them up. Now you'll want to change the hinge receivers. They're held in with two screws, one on the top and one on the bottom. Start by loosening the bottom screw first. Then removing the top. With both screws removed, the hinge receiver will drop into the storage compartment. Open the drawer and reach around to the side and pull out the old hinge receiver. Next you'll want to replace the new hinge receiver. You're going to put it into position and line up the holes and replace the screws. This may take you a few tries to get everything lined up. Repeat this process for the other side. Now you'll want to install the hinge stopper in the location just below where the hinge receiver is located. 
the hinge stopper looks like this. It's installed by simply inserting it into the hole and pushing it in. This prevents the hinges from going past a certain point and prevent premature wear. Now you're going to want to replace the door by putting the hinge tabs into the hinge receivers. This also may take you a couple of tries to get it. And once you do, you're going to bring the door into the open position. With the door in the open position, you're going to close the locking tabs on each side for the hinges. and shut the door. Things you want to check, verify that all your screws are nice and tight and also check to verify that the door is opening and closing properly. If any parts have been left out of your kit or you need further troubleshooting please call 631-254-3434 and option 3 for service. Thank you.